Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advanced Paper 1 Physics in the year 2021. The question is from the topic of rotational motion. The question is based on the marking scheme of integer type. So those who got this question right will get plus 4. Those who get this wrong will get 0 marks. Uh, the question is not very difficult, although uh, you know some students would have gotten this wrong because of one particular error if they would have committed that. But apart from that, there is nothing difficult in this question. Okay, so basically there is a rod of mass m and length a which is rotating about this fixed axis with constant angular velocity capital omega. Now there is a disc which has been uh, uh, hinged on this rod and uh, this rotates about this axis you know this axis at an angular velocity of 4 omega okay about this axis so we have to find the angular momentum about point 0 of the whole assembly okay mass of both rod as well as disc is m and this rotates with 4 omega about its center now those students who thought of this as a rigid body would have written simply i omega and would have gotten this question wrong but this disc is not rigidly attached to rod. In fact, this disc is rotating at 4 omega about this axis. Okay. So let's write the angular momentum. Now, if you just see the rod, so the angular momentum of the rod is uh, i omega about this axis. I will be ma square by 3 into omega. Okay. And this will be in the anti clockwise sense looking from the top. If you look from the top then this will be omega square by 3 into omega okay now we have to write the angular momentum of the disc about point o angular momentum of the disc about its center of mass will be i omega where i will be the moment of inertia about the center of mass okay plus angular momentum of center of mass about point o this is what we are going to do right so m into a square a is actually a by 4 radius of the disc is a by 4 so m a square by 2 so i into omega which is 4 omega so this is the angular momentum of the disc about its center of mass plus angular momentum of center of mass about point 0 so that is m v r so mass of the disc is m velocity of center of mass will be 3 a by 4 into omega because center of mass will be going in a circular motion of 3 a by 4 about point 0 with an angular velocity of omega so 3 a by 4 into omega so mv into r r again is 3 a by 4 so we can add this up so we can see that m a square omega will come out to be constant here 1 by 3 will remain here we will get uh, 1 by 16 into 4 is 1 by 4 plus and half was also there so 1 by 8 here we will get 3 9 by 16. Okay, so if you take the LCM, what do we get? 48 will be the LCM, and this will be 16, this will be 6, and this will be uh, 27. So this will become m a square omega into 49 upon 48. So if you compare this with the given expression, so n will come out to be 49. So 49 should be the correct answer for this question. So simple question. Uh, as I said, those students who thought that this is rigid body would have gotten this wrong. Otherwise, this was a fairly regular question. That's it. Thank you.